Insta, their campaign is called Soaring Colors. So if you want to find yes. out what Soaring Colors is all about, stick with us right here on The Breakfast Club, Banama TV with Elena Abdullah. We'll see you soon. We'll be right back. Hello, good morning, and you're back on The Breakfast Club with me, Elena Robla. And this morning, we have a very special guest. As we mentioned earlier, uh, we are having breakfast with Mona Kumara Valu. Tell us a little bit more about yourself, Mona. Hi, uh, and thanks for having me here today. Sure, thank you very much for having us, being on our show. Oh, thank you. Um, okay, um, I'm Mona, mm -hmm. and uh, my full name is Mohana Kumara Valu. Mona, okay. And um, I've been in the art scene for about three years now. Okay. And um, before this, I did a bit of um, art training mm -hmm. under two Malaysian artists. I would say I was fortunate to go through them. Excellent. And um, one of them was uh, Mr. Matmo Jantan, mm -hmm. and I had the course in National Art Gallery with him. Right. And um, I've, I've done um, apprenticeship with Mr. Jagannathan Ramachandra. Wow. Yes. And um, the system is basically called Guru Klum. Mm -hmm. It's Guru a, Klum. Yes, Guru okay. Klum. It's um, actually widely practiced in India. Mm -hmm. It's not something common here though. Mm -hmm. And um, what basically happens is that you go and join a master, and mm -hmm. then you get to learn everything okay. from him. Yes. Excellent. So it's like a sifu and you know. Yes, correct. Apprentice. Ex correct. Correct. Relationship. Exactly. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, tell us a little bit more about uh, the campaign we are sharing with the viewers today. It's called Soaring Colors Campaign, a campaign to help uh, children with autism and Down syndrome. Down syndrome. Correct. Can you share with us the campaign a little bit more? Okay. Um, Soaring Colors was actually an idea that was initiated mm -hmm. after. I kind of saw like there was this um, differences emphasized whenever we have an art exhibition it's always called like okay um, you know down syndrome artist right. and artistic artist right. and so I felt when I look at their works there's nothing different about their works or our works for that it's matter. Still art. It's still art correct mm -hmm. so um, everything is basically the same and you know the art that they do is no different than what we do okay. so um, this idea came up and then I spoke to a couple of artist friends who mm -hmm. were very keen about the idea mm -hmm. and they were very supportive and they agreed to join the show mm -hmm. and then we managed to contact a few special artists mm -hmm. whose parents were very very excited to be in sure. the, yes mm -hmm. because um, they like the part that the differences are not emphasized yeah, because you know, at the end of the day, like you said, uh, they are artists. It doesn't matter whether they are, correct. you know, uh, less fortunate or you know, uh, a different kind of artist, special artist. Yes, correct. So tell us, please tell us a bit more about performing uh, with Down syndrome artists, uh, the the artists themselves. Okay, um, out of these six artists, mm -hmm. five of them are actually autistic, mm -hmm. and uh, one of them are Down syndrome. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, they might not be able to express verbally, like. Us and yes. they have difficulty in speaking out what they think but mm -hmm. but having said that mm -hmm. they have a very very good way of expressing through art through art yes okay. and um, some of the artists when they can't speak they, they draw what they feel yes like they want a cup of coffee then they draw the cup of coffee right yes and um, out of the five like I said five mm -hmm. of, uh, I mean out of the six sorry mm -hmm. five of them are autistic mm -hmm. and each of them have a very very definite style I'm sure they have different takes on how they, you know, express yes, themselves. Yes, correct. Right? And it's 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 really nice to see that everyone have a different style. Mm -hmm. And I would say like um, artists like Tan Seng Kit and Fitri, mm -hmm. they like to paint on uh, architectural buildings. Wow, ah, okay. They That's go right. on trips with their families and right. then they capture it because autistic children, they have this photographic memory. Ah, okay. They capture it once mm -hmm. and they paint it out. And it's what exactly almost like what they say? Almost the same. Oh, almost wow. the same, but with a touch of their own personal. Right. Yeah. The so, other ones? And the other ones are like uh, Poa, mm -hmm. Damien, and uh, Clement. Mm -hmm. They are more into doodling. Mm -hmm. They love drawing fun stuff like mm -hmm. comics and mm -hmm. animals, and they put an abstraction to that works. Right. And the last one we have is uh, Sham. Mm -hmm. He's a Down syndrome artist. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, correct. Down syndrome artist. Mm -hmm. And he has this uh, way of using colors, I would say. Mm. It's a very different way of using colors, very bold and very striking. No definite form or shape to the artworks. Mm -hmm. But the colors have a very 
but very exciting. It's a different. Yeah. It has gives a different feel. Yes, yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. We're very excited. So I mean, listening to you talk about <laughs> it, I'm very excited to be able to go and see their work. I'm sure it must be really interesting, exciting because mm -hmm. you know this kind of uh, well, autistic or Down syndrome uh, children, they see things from a different view than we do. Exactly. Right? That's right. That's uh, right. Tell us about the charity that this. Uh, it's it's part of a charity process. Well, tell us the charity that this proceeds will be going to. Okay, um, the charity would be actually contributed to this home called Kirtash. Kirtash. It's, it's located in Bukit Beruntung, Rawang. Okay. And they have about 47 or more children as young as four mm -hmm. who has uh, Down syndrome, autistic, mm -hmm. and uh, children with learning disabilities. Mm -hmm. And um, we would safely say that 35 or more of the proceeds will be going to them. 35%? Yes, okay. or more. And uh, it depends on the artist, like they are free to contribute more. Mm -hmm. So we are expecting a bit of A little bit more. Yeah. But if people are looking to donate, how can they you know, come forward and donate? Okay, there are two ways. Mm -hmm. um, one, they can directly contact the home. Okay, uh, and how do we contact the home? Uh, you can go to their website, mm -hmm. you can check it out. The, the contact details are there. Mm -hmm. It's uh, www kirtash k i r t a r s h mm -hmm. dot blogspot dot com okay so it's k i r t a r s h dot blogspot dot com if they want to find out a little bit more about the home yes okay. or they can even go to g13 gallery mm -hmm. dot blogspot dot com you can get the details of the kirtash as well mm -hmm. and yes you can contact the caretakers which are miss judith and mr maniwanan mm -hmm. Or of course you can you know contribute through us. You mm -hmm. can buy the artwork, support mm -hmm. the art scene, mm -hmm. support the special artists, mm -hmm. and you know make a donation to the home as well. Where will the exhibition be held? The exhibition will be held in G13 Gallery. Mm -hmm. It's in a place called Klana Square. Klana Square, okay. Yeah, it's a new place, and uh, the director of the gallery, Mr. Kenny, was uh, very glad to give us a space there. Excellent. Thank you very much, Mr. Kenny, for sharing yes. your space. And you can get the map through the website as well. Though. Okay, so the website for G13 will be? G13gallery.blogspot.com mm -hmm. There you go. So it's www.g13gallery.blogspot.com to find out a little bit more about the Soaring, Col Soaring Colours Campaign Exhibition which is near Cl in Clan Square. Yeah, and uh, we hope um, the members of the public can come and support mm -hmm. us. And um, it, the opening is this Saturday actually. This Saturday? Yes, okay. 28th of May at 7.30pm. Mm -hmm. 7.30pm onwards. Yep. Do you have any advice you want to share with uh, the viewers with regards to the Soaring Colours Campaign? Okay. Um, Basically, Soaring Colours is a very, very fresh attempt mm -hmm. and um, what we're trying to emphasize is that disability is not in what you see but mm -hmm. what you think it is. Right. And so we're trying to break that mindset mm -hmm. and we hope that, really hope that members of public can come and support us. Yes, please. Uh, to all our viewers that are out there watching, you know, find out a little bit more about the Soaring Colours campaign, www.g13gallery.blogspot.com. It starts this Saturday, 28th of May, 7.30pm yes, at uh, Klana Square. And if you can take a look at it, uh, this is one of the uh, art pieces that uh, Mona has done. It's called Unity. Yes, Unity. Okay, that, if you want to find out a little bit more, go to the to the art exhibition on the 28th of May. Uh, that's all the time that we have for this morning show. Thank you very much for sharing no with us problem. and also for bringing up the you know autistic and Down syndrome artists. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks for watching. We will be right back with more uh, news updates right after this. Thank you. Thanks very much, Patsy. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to The Breakfast Club. You're still with us, Elaine Norabdala and Ben Ibrahim. And Elaine, fantastic interview Thank you. to find out about Soaring Colours. A great campaign, yeah? That's right. We're very excited to see the exhibition that's going to happen on 28th of May, 7.30pm mm -hmm. at Klana Square. Mm -hmm. It's at the gallery, G13 Gallery. So go check it out. A good cause. Yes, it is. Special needs. Yes, for autistic and Down syndrome artists. Okay. No difference. They're no just different. artists. That's right, that's right, that's right. And we now move on to entertainment stories. This is the and cool part of the...